So, Maki Zinni. You know, personally, I feel like this video was a long time coming. I feel like a lot of people, they do a lot of, when it comes to defending Maki. Oh, well look, she's badass. Oh, look, she's cool. Oh, look at what she's doing. It's like me personally, I'm not really a fan of Diet Toji. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I've always felt like, indifferent towards her at first and now i just really don't like it get off that nigga dick bro what is you doing this character is literally female toji in every way possible let me explain before y'all get in the comments saying oh my god but look at this difference look at the hear me out let me cook and you will understand where i'm coming from so for example Let's look at what makes Toji more or less an interesting character overall. There is, of course, his backstory, of course, being someone who is ostracized by the Zenin clan and also causing more animosity and beef towards him and the Zenin clan to where he actually thinks about literally taking them off the senses overall, or at the very least, just not liking his own clan for obvious reasons. Losing a loved one, which also makes him spiral into um, some would say questionable behaviors, so to speak, which also drives him to do even more questionable things with said behavior. Now let's look at Maki. Literally, having animosity for the Zenin clan and that animosity building to a point where it makes her do or want to do at the very least questionable things and then actually does those questionable things, which means she has beef with the Zenin clan for obvious reasons. Never mind the fact that in my own personal opinion, I believe that Maki personality and her arc uh, in tandem with Mai is the, one of the things that make her more interesting or at least doesn't make her a complete Toji knockoff. But even past that, I'm not going to lie to you. I think she was a better character before she went through the Tojiifying effect. Mainly because she had her own reasons and own goals and machinations for the Zenin clan aside from just, I don't know, ripping off Toji. Like, she literally does what Toji already wanted to do. So it just kind of makes it cheap. You're like, okay, yo, Maki, handle my light work for me. Appreciate you. And it doesn't make it any better considering the fact that literally the author himself literally can't stop comparing Toji and Maki to each other. Hey, man. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. They literally do it in the story itself. That should be the end of the video, but I already know y'all gonna need more evidence than that for some reason. You know, JJK fans, y'all need like a giant exposition dump onto how this shit make no sense. But all right, I should know. I am a JJK fan. <laughs> Moving past that, her personality just immediately takes a nose dive because again, she's just cosplaying Toji for the entirety of the JJK manga at that point. Like, she's literally not even her own character. Everything just emotionless nothingness. Because, oh, zero cursed energy. Oh, she's like a ghost. Oh, you can't sense her presence. It's like, oh my God. This feels very familiar to just Toji. Like, it's crazy to me. The only difference is, oh, do you like your Toji in female style or male style? Like, that's literally what it feels like. I'm not going to hold you. Never mind the fact that even as far as weapons, they literally have the same weapons. <laughs> like, what? Same arsenal and all. Of course, as Toji does with anything, he wears it better. Minus a few small amenities that mean nothing, they literally have the same arsenal. Like, dude, she's even straight up drawn more like Toji Fushigoro. Like, am I tripping right now? Like, bro, please, Maki fans, look me in the eye and tell me that these two look very much not alike. Go ahead and lie. I dare you to tell me that these two look nothing alike. Because you're not going to make me buy it. Like, look at Maki pre any type of skipping of time than culling games or any of that. Look at Maki here and then look at her now. Like, bro, what are you talking about? They didn't even do the stereotypical, oh, gender swap, let's just make hair longer and call it a day. They didn't even do that. They just straight up gave her the same haircut and all. Like, bro, I, I can't. Like, bro, it is so crazy to I agree with Nayuya when it comes to how he feels about freaking Maki. Cause like, I ain't gonna lie. That's too in for real. Like, listen to what he's saying, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel you, Nayuya. I feel you honestly. Oh my god, bro. Is dick riding all you do? It's like, bro, she's literally trying so hard to be told you. It's not working. Give it up. And the craziest part about it is that people eat this shit up. Like, bro, it's so crazy how the fans just switch up. Like, literally, most of Maki fans are literally disgruntled fucking Toji fans. Like, come on, lie to me. Come on, I dare you. Because, bro, you're not gonna lie to me and tell me that you like Maki on her own 
like before she became Toji 2.0. You're not going to sit here and tell me you gave half a shit about Maki when she was literally nothing. Like, bro, what are we talking about? And even when she was nothing, she was even worse than a Toji freaking wannabe. She was a Toji nothing. By nothing, I mean in relation to the fact that her personality got completely sapped away the moment she started even looking like Toji remotely. Like, bro, it's crazy. She needed glasses. I mean, just to seek her spirit. Like, bro, it's crazy to me. And then here come the Kamaki fans. Oh, but she developed over time, which makes her more interesting because she didn't just start out broken. Then explain Toji's fame in the first place, if that's the case. Toji's more than just, oh, broken man with zero cursed energy. Like, what are you talking about? Never mind the fact that Toji, with his very limited appearances, still managed to show his personality and cunning to the point where he even has such a diehard fan base to begin with. With Maki, it's just her and a compilation of her doing cool stuff. We don't get to see anything aside from that. She's just shallow. Even Toji had limits. Hell, every Gojo fan loves reminding me of that. He's not coming back. Screw you, Gojo fans. I don't give a fuck what Gay Gay draws. Until I see it in this panel, until I see it in this manga again, he's dead and gone. Do you hear me, Gojo fans? Do you hear me? Anyway, um, tangent aside, back to the overall video. Now that I already know the Maki fans are gonna be like, oh, but her beef with the Zenin clan is more interesting because she's a woman and they're sexist. Oh my god. Bro, the female anime fans not finna let you hit, bro. Cut it out. Cause y'all not finna sit here and tell me y'all gave a crap. Y'all didn't care, bro. Come, what are we talking about? Like, it's so easy to dislike the Zenin clan on their own without Maki's story. Because the Zenin clan are assholes. I made an entire video dedicated to the Zenin clan. Like, bro. Like, it's not even close, bro. Like, y'all try so hard. Like, what are we talking about here? I don't know. I just feel like whenever I look at Maki, I get reminded of that freaking scene that was cut out of Batwoman. I'm not about to let a man take credit for a woman's work. And I'm like, just reverse that, and here's Maki. Because it's like, bro, any acolyte that freaking Maki gets, it immediately gets compared to Toji. Inadvertently trying to make Maki more of an independent character and more of a standout character, they inadvertently made her just a wannabe of someone else. Or just not even on purpose. Because again, the writing just literally supports my claims. And it's so crazy that people will cope. Copium will be exquisite in my comment section and I will love to see it. See you there. Peace. So today, shout out goes out to my brother, actually, biological brother, of course. He says, I'm a Maki hater. This video is out to you, bro. Not gonna lie.